this programme has been made to demonstrate how an anti-lock braking system, commonly known as ABS, fitted to the front wheel during manufacture of powered two-wheelers, would save thousands of lives across Southeast Asia every year. The Towards Zero Foundation, Global NCAP, Asian NCAP, Myros, Stop the Crash Partnership, the European Transport Safety Council and the Safer Roads Foundation have collaborated to ensure decision makers understand the reality that the standard fitment of ABS on all motorcycles and scooters with a design speed of 50 kph or more would make a dramatic difference in reducing casualties. Over recent decades in Southeast Asia, the motorcycle has become the preferred mode of transport due to its compact size and affordability. Motorcycles now constitute approaching 60% of the total number of vehicles in the Asian region, with a current fleet population exceeding 200 million and annual sales reaching 10 million units. The current carnage resulting from motorcycle and scooter accidents is profoundly disturbing and the need for effective and immediate action to reduce the unacceptably high number of fatalities and life-changing injuries is overwhelming. There are many motorcycle models, but the most popular in the Asian region are the small engine capacity machines. Statistics indicate that these motorcycle types dominate with over 80% market share in Thailand and over 90% in Malaysia. This position can be seen in almost all the other Asian countries and it's these smaller engine machines which need to have ABS fitted if large numbers of lives are to be saved. Motorcyclists are recognised as one of the most vulnerable road users due to the lack of protection compared to car occupants. So it's vital to focus efforts on crash avoidance technologies to improve the safety of motorcycle riders. One of the most effective motorcycle safety technologies available is ABS. Research has shown that powered two-wheelers fitted with ABS increases rider stability, reduces stopping distances and decreases rider fatalities by a staggering 31%. Experts from around the world are pleading for action to be taken to make ABS mandatory on all motorcycles with a design speed of 50 kph or more. In the UN Decade of Action till 2030, we have a clear global commitment to halve road deaths and serious injuries by 2030. Now that will require a big improvement in motorcycle safety. Of course that can happen through better uh, use of helmets for riders, but a critical technology is anti-lock brakes for motorcycles. It's now part of the core recommendations of the global plan. So we want all countries across the world, all UN member states, but particularly those in Southeast Asia, to commit to implement mandatory application of anti-lock brakes for all bikes capable of more than 50 kilometers an hour. That is the single most important safety technology that can help contribute to the UN decade of action for motorcycle safety. ABS for motorcycles was first introduced in the late 1980s. Since then, the technology has now sufficiently matured and the cost to install ABS has dropped tremendously. Consequently, many countries around the world have now mandated the use of ABS due to its effectiveness in preventing accidents and avoiding fatalities. An anti-lock braking system is a safety mechanism that prevents the wheels from locking while the vehicle is in motion. For motorcycles, this can be fitted as a minimum via a single channel ABS to the front wheel of a motorcycle or scooter. The system ensures the rider has control of the motorcycle because when braking, the wheels continue to rotate and the bike can move in whatever direction the driver is steering. SRF has worked extensively in Asia funding numerous accident prevention schemes, but most importantly, advocating legislative changes which save lives in significant numbers. For example, automatic headlights on for powered two-wheelers so riders can be easily seen by other road users. Together with encouraging the routing wearing of helmets, there's an incredibly simple and effective way to save thousands of lives in Asia every year. And that is to introduce ABS, at least on the front wheel, 
for all motorcycles. What many fail to realise is that the cost of a unit is now extremely modest and it's tragic that so many lives continue to be lost each day in accidents which never need to happen. ABS should not be confused with a combined braking system, CBS, which does not prevent the wheels from locking. In emergency braking, CBS performs no better than a standard machine with no ABS. Southeast Asia is the focus of this program and there's considerable local expertise in the region. In particular, Myros, the Malaysian Institute of Road Safety Research, is an organisation that is a world leader in road safety research. Motorcycle is one of the main mode of transport in ASEAN countries, where most of the users use motorcycles daily to travel to work. Mobility is moving from point A to point B safely, but the question is, can they stop safely? Imagine in an emergency situation that needed motorcycle to stop immediately or making a sudden break and avoid hazards. Can they do that safely? Looking at the weather in ASEAN countries where we frequently enjoy a rainy day and that cause the wet road surface and typically more hazard to motorcycle. With a normal braking system, can they brake and stop safely without skidding? Myros was commissioned by the Towards Zero Foundation to produce a report on the status of ABS in the Asian countries. Part of this was to gauge consumer demand for the feature and tellingly, Myros's online survey indicated that over 80% of respondents want ABS introduced immediately in Asian countries. In the Asian region, some countries are taking the lead with Thailand announcing the mandatory use of motorcycle ABS starting in 2024. It's projected that within three years of implementation, it will save between 1,200 and 1,800 lives. At the United Nations high-level meeting in New York, Malaysia announced that the country aims to reduce road fatalities by 50% by 2030. Transport Minister Datuk Seri Dr. Wee Kasiong has publicly made clear that Malaysia is working towards making ABS mandatory. Unquestionably, action is now being taken by some countries, but with the extraordinary life-saving potential of ABS, it needs to be adopted uniformly across the region for all motorcycles with a design speed of 50 kph or more. Thousands of lives will be lost until this is the reality. Motorcycle ABS is currently available and it is extremely effective. It is also one of the key vehicle safety technologies that is recommended for priority implementation as a part of the global plan in the second decade of action for road safety. In regions such as Southeast Asia that has a high number of motorcycle riders and a high number of motorcycle fatalities, it is extremely important that we try to make motorcycle ABS available as soon as possible. And it's recommended that countries in Southeast Asia consider regulating for motorcycle ABS for any motorcycle or power two-wheeler that is capable of a travel speed greater than 50 kilometres an hour. Tellingly, VTI, the Swedish National Road and Transport Research Institute, concludes in their report from their online conference on safety for powered two-wheelers that policymakers in all regions of the world should develop a progressive roadmap to equip new motorcycles with ABS. Led by the European Union and other developed countries, the adoption of international regulation, in particular UNR78, has begun. In Asia, Japan were one of the first to legislate the use of motorcycle ABS, followed by Taiwan and India. Australia and New Zealand have also mandated ABS for their motorcycle fleets. One of the most effective motorcycle safety technologies available to date is Motorcycle Anti-Lock Braking System, ABS. Research has shown that motorcycle ABS can increase rider stability, reduce stopping distances, and therefore decrease rider deaths. ETSC is strongly committed to promoting the benefits of anti-locking braking systems for power two-wheelers, with the objective to make these life-saving features standard across the globe for any model with a design speed of 50 km per hour or more. The benefits in terms of life saved would be many thousands each year. 
The International Motorcycling Federation, FIM, is also championing the early introduction of ABS for motorcycles and is completely supportive. You know when you ride a bike and uh, it's wet and you break and normally you fall. And that's why we are developing a huge and extensive program of having the ABS system. Uh, in, we are talking about Asia mainly, but all over the world, because ABS saves lives. That's the, the truth. And it's proved by the reality. For everybody who rides a, a motorcycle, you know the importance to be sure when you brake. The potential for meaningfully reducing motorcyclist injuries and deaths through the use of ABS has been reviewed in several major studies. To quantify this in human terms, it's estimated that in Thailand alone, the routine use of ABS on motorcycles would save six to 9,000 lives in the five years following its introduction. It's evident these dramatic reductions in casualty rates would equally be achieved in all Asian countries through the introduction of ABS. For too long, the motorcycle industry has been delaying action on anti-lock brakes. We know it's a proven lifesaver. It's a crucial priority in Southeast Asia. And if we're going to meet the kind of targets we have set to halve road deaths and serious injuries in the decade ahead, then action on safer motorcycles is critical and ABS is the key technology. Myros estimates that by installing ABS as standard on powered two-wheelers would, in the Asian region, in the first five years, save 40,000 lives. What could be more important to policymakers than saving lives on this immense scale? Motorcyclists are some of the most vulnerable users on our roads and it is really important that we try to keep them safe. ETSC is strongly committed to promoting the benefits of anti-locking braking systems. Let us join together, support and push for standard treatment of ABS to all new motorcycles around the world. ABS saves lives. Please follow this concept and help with all the means you have to implement this program, especially in Asia. The Safer Roads Foundation appeals to policymakers to mandate now the fitting of ABS in their own countries thereby preventing all the human misery accidents bring when riders lose control. But so often these incidences would never have occurred if ABS had been fitted. It's time for the motorcycle industry and for governments to act.